So back in May, I posted this photo to my Instagram and my YouTube community page. It's basically just me and all of my twins celebrating my 17th birthday, because with the pandemic going on, it's obviously not cool to have friends anymore. I made it in Photoshop, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do it yourself. Let's get started. All right, to start, you have to actually take the photos, and I can cycle through all of them right now. As you can see, I've got a variety of outfits, and then I did a bunch of different poses for each one. Not every photo turned out, and some are a little embarrassing if I'm being honest, but it's all in good fun. There are a few things to keep in mind when taking the photos. One, the camera has to be locked down in the same spot for every photo. Your best bet is to use a tripod. I used the Viltrox tripod that I bought earlier this year, and it's also helpful to have someone behind the camera to help take the photos. In this case, my sister helped me, so shout out to her. Two, the lighting has to be consistent. I was able to take these photos outside because it was overcast, but on most days sunlight can be very unpredictable, so you'll most likely want to take the photos inside under controlled lighting conditions. Otherwise, the differences in lighting will stand out and ruin the effect. Three, you want to take as many photos as possible, again in a variety of poses and outfits. It's important to have options, because once you're packed up and done, it's pretty much impossible to recreate the exact camera positions. Again, I can cycle through the photos, and most of them are pretty terrible. So you do want to increase your chances of having photos that you actually like. All right, so here we are in Photoshop and I can just choose the default Photoshop size, that's fine. Hit create. And now we have a blank canvas to work with. I'm gonna start by dragging in a nice clean background shot. So there it is. As you can see, I'm not in it. It's just the table and the food and all that good stuff. So I'm just gonna hit the check mark. Then I can drag in the rest of the pictures. So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And last but not least, this one. The first thing that I'm going to do is resize all of these so that there are no white bars at the top or bottom. So I'm going to make sure that pick six is selected, then I'm going to scroll down to the background. I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to click it. And as you can see, it selects all of them at once. Then I can just drag it and resize it. Get it nice and perfect. There we go. Hit the check mark. Next, I'm going to create a layer mask for each photo. And this is the main thing that helps us achieve the effect. So I'm going to start by clicking on the top picture and I'm going to go right here, which is the new layer mask button, and I'm going to click it. And as you can see, this little white square pops up right here. That's our layer mask. And I can do that for every other photo. All right, so now I'm going to want to click on the layer mask. I'm going to hit B for my brush tool to make sure the brush is nice and soft so it blends nicely. I'm going to make sure that black is on the front right here, so just click X. And then I'm going to paint myself out just like that. There I go. So now I'm gone as you can see. And the next step is to just hit Control I on the keyboard and boom, just like that, there I am. Then I can make sure that the layer mask for pick number five is selected. That is this one right here with me and the Doritos. And I can just start brushing myself out. And then Control I, boom. Here I am. So obviously I don't want to be fading into thin air right here and I'm going to fix that by going to the layer mask for pick six and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I can resize my brush so that's just a little smaller and then I'm going to make sure that this square on top right here is set to black. I can just gently paint over myself and get some fine detail. And then I can switch this back to white and paint over my arm right there. Okay, once that's set, zoom out. And then I can just go down to the layer mask for pick four, which is this one, erase myself like that. Again, hit control I and boom, there I am over here. So yeah, you basically just repeat the process for as many clones as you have. So a little extra advice based on my experience with this specific photo. Uh, you know, I notice, I'm noticing that there's some space right here where I could have been, or I could have also like sat on the ground right here. And again, that just goes to show the importance of having options and uh, putting in as much effort as possible uh, while you're out there taking the photo. Because again, once you're done, you're done and you can't really go back and stand here. But yeah, there you go. It's pretty much complete. If you found this video helpful, be sure to let me know by leaving a like. But in any case, thank you for watching and goodbye.